and click the start button right here. After doing that, you want to type partition. Just type partition right here. Just type partition and then you should see this option where it says create and format hard disk partitions. Click on it. And so after clicking on it, this should bring up the disk management tool. Now, another way to open the disk management tool is to right click the start button. You're going to right click the start button from the bottom left corner of the screen, the bottom left corner. Right click and then click where it says run right here. All right, and, and this should bring up this window and then this text field right here by where it says open type disk mgmt.msc again it's it's disk mgmt.msc and then click ok or press enter and this too should bring up the disk management tool okay and so now inside the disk management tool you should see all of the information about your hard drive as you can see this right here this is my main hard drive a 300 gigabyte hard drive okay so now what exactly is partitioning what does it mean to partition something to partition a hard drive well partition a hard drive as its name indicates part is to separate a hard drive into separate parts so to speak so basically you are like creating like virtual hard drives and so by doing this, you can install a separate OS or operating system on it. So very neat, neat stuff. So now to do that, in order to create a partition, what you have to do, you want to give, you want to have space. So to do that, you want to shrink your main hard drive. You want to shrink it. So and so to shrink it, you're going to right click on it. Click right click anywhere right here. Right click anywhere right here. Right click, and then click where it says shrink volume okay so right click and then choose where it says shrink volume and then windows will load for a little bit okay and now pay attention to this field right here where it says enter the amount of space to shrink in mb mb means megabytes okay so keep this in mind now say for example i want to create a two gigabyte partition a two gigabyte partition now keep in mind that 1000 megabytes equals one gigabyte so for example if, if i want to create a two gigabyte partition i need to write 2000 right here 2000 megabytes because that equals to two gigabytes or if i want to create a massive 100 gigabyte partition i need to write 100,000 right here okay so pretty straightforward so since I'm going to create a two, a two gigabyte partition, I'm going to enter two thousand. And keep in mind, the larger the larger your partition, the longer it takes to create it. So keep that in mind. So after doing that, after choosing the amount of space to shrink by, click shrink. Okay. And depending on on how much space you want to shrink by and how fast your computer is this will take a few seconds to a few minutes okay so as you can see here is the space i have shrunk right here and as you can see it's called unallocated unallocated space well what does that mean it means unformatted space or unprepared space so basically i have to prepare this space for storage because right now it's just dead space that you can't do anything with it's like having you have land but you have a house but you can't do anything in it because there is no bed there is no mattress there are no seats there there is no there's nothing that you can sit on and lie on so the house is useless the space is useless so you want to prepare this space right here so to do that you're going to right click on it and then click where it says new simple volume right here all right and so this should bring up uh, this screen now you want to click next all right so now you want to create a new simple volume which means a new drive new simple volume means new drive so now come confirm the amount of space here confirm the amount of space as you said 
as, I, as we have said we want to create a two gigabyte hard drive so we, we're going to keep this as is as 2000 megabytes now say for example you've changed your mind and now all of a sudden you want to create a one gigabyte hard drive what well, to do that a one gigabyte drive partition to do that just enter 1000 right here and now the 1000 megabyte that is left over the one gigabyte that is left over will be unallocated space just keep that in mind and so once you know all of this click next and here you have the option to assign your driver letter you don't have to it does this for you click next and here you can choose a file system like FAT32, NTFS, you can keep it as it is. You don't have to do all of that unless you know what you're doing. And right here where it says volume label, this will be the name of your hard drive. So me, I'm going to call it new drive. You can give it a name, any name you want. And then once you do that, click next. And then confirm everything. As you can see, volume size, 2000 megabytes or two gigabytes and click finish and it's formatting formatting and voila my new drive my new partition here it is i have a new partition right here so pretty good stuff and now i have two separate two separate partitions on my main hard drive so very neat stuff to know and now if i want to i can create a backup I can do many other stuff with this and if I go to the file system the file the file explorer I should be able to see my new drive right here as you can see look new drive okay new drive this is my USB flash drive right away and as you can see the new drive I've just created here it is and this is my main hard drive the main one with the OS on it, Windows 10. So really neat stuff. And if I want to, I can store extra things there. I can even open it and do all kinds of neat stuff with it. So really nice, really nice thing to know how to create a partition on Windows 10. So if you have any questions, you can you can leave it in the comments below. Oh, and one thing to keep in mind, say for example, you want to delete this partition right here. You want to delete this one, you want to erase it and you want things back to normal all you have to do is right click on it and then click where it says delete volume okay click where it says delete volume and then here it says deleting this volume will erase all data on it okay so keep that in mind and back up anything that you may have and click yes and as you can see right now it is now on allocated space again and now if you want to you can you can move things back to the way they were you can extend you can increase the space of your main hard drive again of the main drive so i'm going to select extend volume right here for my main drive and i'm going to increase it by two gigabytes as you can see click next click finish and as you can see, things are back to the way they were. So you can always go back if you want to. So say for example, you've changed your mind, you've created a partition, but now you no longer want one. You can always delete it and then add that space back to your main drive.